This is the heartbreaking story of a diver named Dave Shaw, who made a promise that resulted in his own death. The promise was to retrieve the body of Dion Dreyer, who was lost in Bushman's Hole 10 years earlier. Although Dave Shaw tragically died during the solar recovery, he made a promise to the family of Dion Dreyer. I will bring your boy home. Let's explore and see if he kept his promise in a Bushman's Hole tragedy. Please remember to hit subscribe before you forget. Dion Dreyer was a South African recreational scuba diver who died in Bushman's Hole or also known as Bozeman's Gat Cave in South Africa's Northern Cape. Dion Dreyer's father, Theo, and mother Mary raised him in a town 35 miles south of Johannesburg. Dreyer designed obscenely loud car stereos, had a passion for diving, and loved adventure like hunting, racing a souped up car, and motorcycling. Dion Dreyer died on December 17th of 1994 at the age of 20 during a practice dive while helping a team assembled by Nuno Gomez. They were setting up the conditions for a deep technical dive scheduled to take place later that week. According to first-hand accounts from those diving with him, Dreyer was lost on a sound around 50 meters from the surface. They made a guess he had probably lost consciousness, either because of oxygen toxicity or hypercapnia induced by the high work rate of breathing at depth. Dreyer was not the first victim of Bushman's Hole. In 1993, Ibn Laden died after blacking out at 60 meters deep in the cave. Two weeks later, after Dreyer's death, Theo hired a small remotely operated sub. It found Dreyer's dive helmet on the floor, but there was no sign of his body. After that, nobody was able to recover Dreyer's body from the Bushman's Hole. Almost 10 years had passed after Dreyer's tragic death when extreme diver Dave Shaw set a world record depth in the blackness of the Bushman's Hole in October 2004. His happiness didn't last long as he was met by a grim discovery. Lying in the slate 270 meters down at the bottom of South Africa's deepest freshwater cave, he saw the remains of Dion Dreyer, the only man to have previously attempted to conquer the Bushman's depths. Dave Shaw was an Australian scuba diver, technical diver and a commercial airline pilot who had already made a number of records in diving and did many impossible things in life. Unable to recover the body on that attempt, he promised Dreyer's parents he would go back for their son's remains and he was as good as his last words, but the promise was to cost Shaw his own life too. On January 8th of 2005, David Shaw dove into the deep water of Bushman's Hole. It was his 333rd dive of his career. All his team and Dreyer's parents were waiting for him with a clock in their hands. Unfortunately, Shaw never came back alive. Shaw recorded his dive with an underwater camera on his head, which allowed researchers to determine that he had suffered from respiratory issues due to the high pressure. Shaw ran into difficulties when the body unexpectedly began to float. Shaw had been advised by various experts that the body would remain negatively buoyant because the visible parts were reduced to the skeleton. However, within his wetsuit, Dreyer's corpse had turned into a soap-like substance called adipocir, which floats. Shaw had been working with both his hands and he had been resting his can light on the cave floor. The powerful underwater lights that cave divers use are connected by wires to heavy battery canisters normally worn on the cave diver's waist or sometimes attached to the tanks. Normally, Shaw would have wrapped the wire behind his neck, but he was unable to do so. The lines from the body bag appear to have become entangled with the light head, and the physical effort of trying to free himself led to his death. Footage taken from his camera showed breathless David Shaw repeatedly struggling to cut himself free. A straightforward manoeuvre for an experienced diver at normal depths. The rigours of operating at such massive depths were too much however. He began to pass out, then eventually he died. Three days had passed and both of the bodies floated up to the near surface as the dive team was retrieving their equipment. In the last, David Shaw kept his promise and delivered the body of Dion Dreyer back to his family. Finally, after 10 years, Dion Dreyer was home. For more videos like this, click subscribe or click a video on screen.